First of all, the uh, tools that I use in this process, uh, a good punch, right? a good drift, hard steel, and then that old, old screwdriver that we all have in our shops. Uh, we abuse it opening varnish and paint cans with it. We use it as a pry bar, as I will in just a minute. And we hammer on it and even use it as a drift or maybe a very crude chisel. And then the, the last tool is a, a ball peen hammer or you can use a regular claw hammer. Inserting the pin is really very straightforward. First of all, in this case we have the uh, the old roller out, there's an ear on each side, and we have bent both ears back. We first insert the shouldered end of the pin into the hole, and it, either side, it doesn't matter which side. And just like that, the roller and pin are in place. The tongue has been bent outwards at the bottom so that the roller, is, the pin is not going to keep going. Now, how do we reverse this? I start on the end, on the shouldered end of the pin, but it really doesn't matter. I'm starting on the shouldered end now so I don't have to move the camera and everything. And I just pry the tongue flat back against the side as I am now and then if everything works I just once I've bent the tongue back then I can simply drive it down into and past the the bottom of the tongue and it drops into the slot and of course the hardest part is retrieving the pin. Working with our fabricator we are pleased to announce that uh, we can offer you the same solution. Uh, these pins which are exact copies of the originals albeit in stainless steel that is hard and slippery and will never rust are available from Snake Mountain Boatworks and we'll be happy to talk to you about this really neat solution to a very vexing problem. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.